Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Au, Director of Operations at Digital Charlotte, and this is the Digital Charlotte Digest. Hey everyone, welcome back to Digital Charlotte Digest. My name is Andrew Au, and today we are talking about the week of May 4th through May 8th. So as you can see, there might be a little bit of a difference if you watch previous episodes. I'm not in a room, I'm actually out. And that's because I actually have to make a quick run to the Queens campus to grab a computer charger. So jumping right into it this week, we were able to connect with one of our community organizations that we ran programs with over the early spring. And we were able to connect with them to have our laptops that were just sitting in the building, uh, we connected with them so that we were able to be able to distribute them to the community members that were in the organization um, that were living in the complex. Um, we were able to get the laptops essentially to the people that earned them uh, because it was right at the very end when we needed to cancel all programming due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So. We were able to connect with the organization and reach out to all those community members and just be able to do a hands-free contactless distribution. However, one of the uh, chargers needs to be swapped out. So I am currently making my way to Queens so that I can grab a new charger and schedule a time where we can do a, co a contactless hands-free swap of the chargers. In addition to that happening this week, we also continued on our online office hours where we set up our Zoom room and allow it to be open to the Charlotte community so that anyone who has a computer issue or question or needs any sort of assistance can just pop in and, and ask us uh, to help in any way that we can. And while creating that opportunity has been great and we're excited to provide that to the Charlotte community, we haven't been getting a, a large response to that, although people are promoting it and mentioning it and posting it on social media. Uh, there has been a, a large amount of Charlotte community members that have come to these online office hours. It's still new. It's only the second week, so we're not we're not going to be pivoting away from that anytime soon and trying something different. We are in it for the long haul. However, with that said, we are also now exploring additional opportunities where we can provide any type of assistance to people who might not be able to be a part of the online office hours due to scheduling conflicts or timing issues or any sort of reasons that where they are able to join the online office hours. So we are in the process of devising, brainstorming, and planning out additional opportunities where Charlotte community members might be able to submit their questions to us and us responding back in a more public way where it will help not only the person asking the question, but potentially helping others who might have the same question and might not have the ability to ask us. So we are devising newer opportunities now to figure that out. And overall, that has been the week that was for Digital Charlotte. Um, we have been just focused on these online office hours, creating new programming opportunities, and working with existing partnerships with our community organizations to make sure that we are delivering accessibility, whether it's tech or internet or training, um, however best we can to whoever needs it and with our current partners. So that will do it for us this week for Digital Charlotte Digest. Thank you for tuning in and see you next week. Bye.